morning student how are you all am i audible am i audible okay so those who have joined please write your uh, give your attendance in the chat box write your roll number in the chat box for your attendance okay so today uh, let's wait for 5 minutes if only 11 students have joined let's wait for 5 minutes so that everybody can join and i will start because i'll start a new topic today consideration and if you have uh, anyone if you have any question regarding compaction of soil the previous uh, previous chapter okay so you can ask me directly you can mail me or you can message me uh, any any question regarding compaction of soil because that's uh, that topic is over so today i will start new topic which is called consideration of soil Okay, let's start. So, uh, like, uh, today we will discuss about the consolidation. So, there are two things. One is compaction of soil and consolidation. Both are actually, because of both compaction and consolidation, there will be compression in the soil sample. Right? So, like volume decrease. Right? But in what happens in compaction? Compaction is uh, like decrease in volume due to the application of load. Huh? You do uh, the application of load. There, there are only any uh, expansion of water. But in consideration, no, what happened? Volume reduction takes place due to the expansion of water. Right? And it is, uh, consideration always happens in saturated soil mainly. Like when a soil is fully loaded, fully saturated soil, when we apply load, the poor pressure, poor water pressure present in the soil sample squeeze out. And because of that, there will be volume reduction. And that is called consolidation. Okay, so right. So what is consolidation? So can you see this figure? Can you see the figure? Can you see the figure, student? Yes. Okay. So you can see there is a soil sample. This is mainly clay. Ha, huh, it could be anything. Sand, sand, seal. Ha. Huh, so here we have taken clay. And this is saturated clay. So, as you know, what is saturated clay? Saturated means when the soil voids are completely filled with water, then it is called a saturated soil. Right. So, it is a saturated clay, and this is the ground surface, ground level of the soil sample. And what happened? What we did? We we loaded the soil sample externally. Okay. So, what will happen? Due to the application of flow, water will squeeze out of the soil sample, right? And because of that expansion of water from the soil sample, the soil will shrink uh, over a long time, maybe up to several years. Now, now this squeezing of water it it may take it 
it can happen instantaneously or it can take years, several years, depending on the probability of the soil. If the soil is less probable, right, if the soil is less probable, that means clay is less probable soil. That means probability is very low. In this situation, this uh, consideration can take place, it, it can, um, it, it could take more than years, sometimes 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, right? And for sand, and for those soil samples, which uh, was actually probability is very high, like sand, right? It takes uh, no time, right? Uh, for the water, for water to uh, pass through sand sample, it takes no time. So, in those situations, perspiration takes place in a very, uh, very short span of time, right? So, and this inter, inter phenomena, right? This uh, water is squeezing out of the soil, and then there will be swing case, like there will be soil will swing, there will be volume reduction. This inter phenomena is called consolidation. Is it clear what is consolidation? Is it clear? Do I have to repeat this again? What is consolidation? Student, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma okay. Okay. So, concept of consolidation. So, you can see there are two, this is a two phase diagram as you all know what is phase diagram right now, right? So, this is two phase diagram it means soil, this is soil solid and this yellow color is, this is water and soil is fully saturated. That means there is no void spaces. That's why there is no the third phase is missing, that means this air phase, because there is no air present in the soil sample. Okay, so what happened when this is the initial state, huh? when there is no load, huh? soil is fully saturated, and after that what we did, we added, we, we applied some load, okay, at the top of this sample, we applied some load, and because of that, you can see this water at the lower, no, this is squeezed water. It is because of the application of low, low, the soil will pass through the, the water present in the soil sample will squeeze out, right? And because of that, there will be volume reduction. This, this entire phenomena is called consolidation. So, as the time passes, the water comes out of the soil first and so the volume of soil decreases. This is the cause of the settlement. So why settlement happen? Because of the, uh, because of, because the water comes out of the soil voids and there will be volume of, there will be reduction of volume. Uh, and because of that there is settlement happen. The settlement is directly proportional to the decrease in the volume. So whatever be the decrease in volume that will be equal to the volume of the squeeze out water and that will be the settlement of the soil sample. So one important uh, important one like not important and one famous example of this one leaning tower of Pisa. Have you heard about leaning tower of Pisa? Anyone? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So do you know what happened? Hello? Hello. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, this is an example of consolidation. Actually, what happened uh, before construction? No, there was a very thick uh, before the before the uh, tower. No, like beneath the tower, there was a uh, like thick uh, clay layer. Okay, and it was fully saturated. So, what happened when the construction started? No, what happened? The water present the soil sample started to squeeze out of the uh, squeeze out of the soil sample and because of that and because of that there is volume reduction I'll, I'll show you some picture of pizza okay this is straight I'll show you some
Can you see this, student? Can you see this? Hello. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Huh? Ma'am, can't uh, see the screen. Huh? We are not able to see the screen, screen ma'am. Screen, oh, no, screen, yes, screen, yes, screen is visible or not? It's not visible? Yes, ma'am. No. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's, it's visible, visible now. No? Is visible now. Can you see this leaning tower of Pisa? So beneath this, beneath this, yes, uh, beneath this tower, no, there is a thick layer of clay. Huh. Actually, what happened? Clay are less permeable. So it takes years to, you know, it takes years uh, to consolidate. Like, uh, like for the permeability is very low, around ten over minus twelve uh, in that range. So when Actually, initially they did not know when the construction was going on. No, they did not know that there is a, a huge clay soil, clay sample. So when the construction started, after construction of I think third or fourth, uh, fourth floor, what happened? It is it started to tilt, right? So after that they did so many remediation, but what happened? They could not uh, like make it. You know, it became tilted because of the consolidation. Because of the consolidation of the clay layer. This was uh, beneath the tower because of that it became tilted. This is a this is a famous example of consolidation. So you can read about this what happened in leaning tower of Pisa, how it constructed constructed and what happened, how they uh, did retrofitting and everything. So you can read in uh, reading internet. It's a very interesting story. Okay. Now. Okay, so can you see this? Hello, can you see the uh, see my uh, screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Now, yeah, fundamentals of consolidation. So, so this is an example. See, uh, this is a soil layer. Here, this is a sand layer. Huh. After that, there is a clay layer. After that, there is a sand layer. Right. So this is fully saturated. That means water level is water level is at this level. Right. So what happened initially? We have. A we are going to the screen then. Huh? What? What? Hello, ma'am. You, your voice is lagging, ma'am. No, I didn't get what. Is it visible? Ma'am, voice clear नहीं है. Oh, voice clear नहीं है. अभी clear है कि नहीं? हाँ, रुक रुक के आ रहा है ma'am. अभी भी रुक रुक के आ रहा है. हाँ, अभी तो है ठीक है ma'am. अभी ठीक है. Okay. So what about the other? हाँ हाँ. What about the other? Am I audible? Okay. So there is a sand layer. Beneath there is a clay layer and there is a sand layer, right? And this is the water table, right? So what we did, we have applied a incre load increment. That means delta sigma. That means delta means increment, vertical stage increase. Huh? So we have applied the delta sigma load at the at this at this place at the surface of the soil sample, right? So what will happen? There will be consolidation will take place because of the load. Initially, what will happen? Volume change. Uh, so delta sigma causes U to increase immediately. That U means pore water pressure. So you have to you have to write down and you have to remember. Okay, what is delta sigma vertical stress? Delta sigma is the vertical stress. U is the pore water pressure. Okay, so this thing is very important for understanding consolidation chapter. Okay, and in future also you have to. Uh, understand what is U. U is very important in in future. No, in geotechnical engineering or foundation engineering, this U no water pressure delta sigma. You have to use in every situation. You have to use this term delta sigma U, right? So you uh, you have to read it also. Okay. So delta sigma causes U to increase immediately. See when the soil is fully saturated, right? When the soil is 
fully saturated means all the voids are filled with water. So what will happen when we apply some load or some pressure? No, the entire pressure will be taken by water. Okay, whatever load we will apply on the soil sample, that will be taken by pour water. The water which is taken in the soil sample, that will be taken by the water. Okay, so that means delta causes you to increase immediately. That means whatever the water present in the soil sample, that will increase the pour water pressure will increase immediately. Okay. So here are two situations. One is for sand and another for clay. For what will happen in sand, pore pressure increase dissipates rapidly due to high permeability. That means even though the pore water pressure del U will increase immediately, but due to due to its highly permeable, that means whatever the water present in soil sample it will dissipate instantaneously. Okay, and due to this dissipation, the pore water pressure will also reduce. Okay, but what happen in clay? Pore water pressure dissipates slowly due to low permeability. So whatever the pore water, whatever the pore water pressure in this region, clay soil sample, it will take time to dissipate. And because of that, this pore water pressure, pore water pressure increases. Okay, increase in the soil sample, it will, it will dissipate very slowly. As the water sample, water, sample, water pressure in the soil sample will dissipate slowly, the pore water pressure will also dissipate slowly due to the low probability of the clay soil sample. Is it okay? Any question you want to ask? Anything you want to ask? Student? Hello? Huh? Okay. Hello. Yeah. So there are some Okay, so there are some conditions, right? So what happened initially? So this is the soil sample. Okay, sand, clay, this is the sand, actually soil layer, right? And we have applied delta sigma vertical stress increment. Delta sigma is a vertical stress increment. Huh? We have applied the load vertically. It's not horizontal. Huh? You remember it. This load should be always applied vertically. Okay? So at time of initial load, that means T equal to zero. Just we have applied the load. What will happen? Just we applied the load. So initially what will happen at t equal to 0, pore water takes initial change in vertical loading since water is incompressible. See whatever the water present in the soil sample, no, that water will take the entire load. That means whatever the pore pressure, that means for pore pressure, that pore pressure will be equal to the vertical stress in given delta sigma. That means whatever the whatever stress we have applied. Uh, applied on the soil sample, that will be in initial that will be taken by pore water pressure. So at t equal to zero, time equal to zero, this vertical loading delta sigma will be equal to delta u. That means entire load will be taken by water. So sand particle will not take any load initially at time t equal to zero. So soil skeleton does not see initial loading. Okay. So this is the initial uh, at time t equal to zero. Next is time t equal to 0 to t equal to infinity. So what will happen in between this? Like when we just after, like just at the time of loading, so after some time uh, in between t equal to 0 t equal to infinity. In between this, what will happen? What will happen? There will be expansion of water pressure. That means water will squeeze out of the what, uh, squeeze out of the soil sample. So when the water will be squeezed out of the soil sample, no, so some amount of uh, vertical stress will be transferred to the soil skeleton. Right? You can see here, you can see, can you see this? Can you see this, this one? Initially, what will happen? At time t equal to zero, the, at time t equal to zero, this pore pressure, this delta u equal to delta sigma, okay? Then at time t, sorry, sorry, sorry. At time t equal to 0, delta e, sigma equal to delta u, delta sigma equal to delta u, okay. Then at time 0 to infinity, that right? means is in this, this one. So what will happen? This uh, time is increasing, water, whatever the water present in the soil sample, it is squeezing out and because of that, there will be, uh, this water pressure will, will reduce and consequently this 
the the soil sample will peak loading as the pore water pressure decreases so can you see this is increasing slowly this is increasing slowly pore water pressure is increasing and this decreasing and this and the soil skeleton is the load taken by this soil skeleton is not visible just wait wait ha huh? wait now is it visible now is it visible is it visible now yes ma'am is visible ma'am okay so so can you see this so this is actually this is critical ha huh? you have to read by yourself also okay so at time t equal to 0 the pore water pressure will be equal to the vertical stress increment what have delta sigma because we have applied delta sigma to the soil sample so initially at time t equal to 0 whatever be the vertical stress we have applied that will be taken by water pore water pressure so initially at time t equal to 0 delta sigma will be equal to delta u delta v u is nothing but the pore water pressure okay but as the time uh, elapses no what will happen there will be expulsion of water that means water will squeeze out of the soil sample so what will happen then this delta sigma will reduce because water is squeezing out of the soil sample and some amount of stress will be transferred to this soil skeleton some amount of vertical stress will be taken by this uh, soil skeleton so what will happen is initially pore water pressure will increase Ha, increase and after that this pore water pressure will decrease is it okay is it clear hello so at time t equal to infinity okay at time t equal to infinity that means what happened whatever the pore water pressure present in the soil sample completely squeeze out of the soil sample okay so delta sigma so delta sigma what will happen pore water increase due to initial loading completely dissipate because of the initial loading the pore water pressure will dissipate that means delta u equal to 0 right and what will happen since delta u equal to 0 this entire vertical stress increment will be taken by the soil sample and that is called affective stress the soil skeleton the the stress which is taken by this uh, soil sample soil skeleton it is called affective stress so what will happen this affective stress will be equal to delta sigma this vertical stress increment so what there will be pore water pressure will be zero and at the entire vertical stress okay that will be equal to the affective stress of the soil sample so there is one important relationship okay relationship i think yeah no now it is not written Okay. Just wait. just wait ha huh? i am sharing something
Wait, huh? I'm sharing something. So, can you see this? Can you see the sharing? Hello? Can you see this? Anyone? No, ma'am. This one, total stress and economic no, stress? Is it not visible? No, ma'am. Now? Now is it visible? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's visible now. So, total stress and effect keeps stress. This sigma dash, yeah, sigma is called the total stress. Okay, sigma is called the total stress. Right, sigma dash is the effective stress. Yeah, it's about sigma dash B and sigma dash U. And UW is the poor water pressure, delta U, delta U or UW. This is called poor water pressure. And the relationship is like, Sigma dash equal to sigma minus UW. That means total stress. That means effective stress is equal to total stress minus water pressure. Now tell me, so if the water pressure is equal to zero, so what will be effective stress? Hello? 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 Yes, ma'am. From this equation, no, can you tell me? Suppose this sigma dash equal to, that means this is the effective stress sigma dash and sigma minus UW. Sigma is the total stress and UW is the water pressure. Suppose this term is zero, UW is zero. What will happen? This sigma dash effective stress will be equal to total stress, isn't it? Isn't it? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So at this infinity no, at time t to infinity, what will happen? This poor water pressure no, it will be zero. This delta u will be zero, and this vertical stress, at least this total stress, will be equal to the effective stress. That means the soil, the stress taken by, that means the stress of this taken by this soil skeleton will be equal to the this delta sigma. This is nothing but the total stress. And the soils taken by this soil skeleton, stress taken by this soil skeleton will be the will be called the effective stress. This effective stress and total stress, this is one of the important thing in uh, soil mechanics. Right. In future also, whatever you will learn, uh, everything will be described in terms of total stress or effective stress. There are few things which is very important. First one is basic things, right? You have to understand all the uh, this one, uh, phase diagram and all the relationship, right? This grain size, grain size distribution, Atterberg's limit, then uh, this, what is void ratio. So everything you have to understand. After that, this thing, right? How those things are related to this, uh, this, this consolidation, right? And in to understand this concept, no, you have to understand this effective stress and this total stress and poor water pressure you have to understand uh, properly okay anyways so now this entire thing no this entire thing can be explained in in terms of a spring analogy if we if we suppose this is a this is a theory huh? this is a very important theory famous theory if we Assume that this soil sample has a spring. So can you see this? Can you see the spring? 
Can you see the spring? Can you see this? Hello. Yes, so this is a spring. This is nothing but what we what what we have uh, assumed that this entire soil sample. This can be assumed as a spring, and there is a uh, there is a actually uh, uh, a hole where water whatever the water is there that can be squeezed out. Okay. So initially, what will happen? We apply W W load. Okay. Can you see this load W? W load. So what will happen? Initially, the inter load will be taken by the water sample. Water is in the is in here. This is the spring and this is the water content, right? So whatever the water is, whatever the load, the load we have applied, it will be taken by this water. And because of that, there will be expulsion of poor water, right? So when there is expulsion of poor water, now what will happen? This load will be taken by this spring. Isn't it? Right? If there is no water at this level, so the entire load will be taken by the spring and because of that, when we apply the load on the spring, what will happen? There will be suppression, right? This will happen, isn't it? Now we increase the load. Now if we keep on increasing the load, what will happen? The water sample, the water which is present in here, it will squeeze out from here, from this hole. And the and the weight will be taken by this spring. Okay, this is how. What will happen? There will be uh, soil. Soil will take the entire load, and there will be reduction in volume, and there will be reduction in uh, water pressure. So this entire thing, if we replace the spring by by soil sample, the same thing will happen in soil also. This spring is nothing but the soil sample, right? Is it is it clear? Is it clear? Hello? Hello? Is it clear? This spring analogy? See, this will take time, huh? This is not that easy. This chapter is not that easy. Huh? Confusion chapter is very difficult to understand. And uh, not only consultation, this soil, this geodetic engineering, you know, it's not that easy actually. Huh? Because initially those, uh, those relation, no, those relationships are easy to understand, but applying those relationships, those basic things to understand this concept, no, it is not that easy actually. You have to listen carefully and you have to read by yourself also. No ma'am, okay, not clear. Okay. So this figure you have understand no this sand clay sand this is what happened no in 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 normal in field no if you uh, if you find a soil sample no if you dig the soil you will get different different soil layers right isn't it in in field also no you will find different different soil layers so what they have what we have assumed that there is a soil layer sand layer. Then after beneath the sand layer, there is a clay layer, there is a sand layer, again there is a clay layer. Okay? And this, and the entire sample is filled with water. That means it is completely saturated. Now, what we, what we did, we replaced the entire soil sample by a spring. This is a spring. We replaced the entire soil by a spring. What we, what we assumed that this is nothing but a spring. Okay? And there is there is water, and this is movable. This this one is movable. Okay, and there is a hole where water can squeeze out. We can add water and we can squeeze out water from this uh, from from this sample. Okay. <coughs> now, initially, when suppose this is filled with water, no. So if we add if we apply some load at the top at this top, now what will happen? This load will be taken by the water, isn't it? So if we apply a load, so who will take the, uh, which one will take the load? This spring will take or this water will take? Anyone? Anyone? Hello? You can write in the chat box. This is filled with water and there is a spring. Huh. 
Now you imagine there is a spring and this is completely filled with water. And we have applied a W load. Right. So what will happen? At time t equal to 0, the entire load will be taken, taken by this, soil, this water sample, this water, isn't it? Hello? Ma'am. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. When the water will take some load, so what will happen? It will squeeze out since there is a hole. There is a place where water can squeeze out. Suppose we have applied a load. Suppose you have a glass of water and we have applied some load on the top. What will happen? Water will squeeze out. No. You just think, you just take a glass of water and you just apply some load on the top of this uh, water, water surface. What will happen? Water will squeeze out no from the glass. This is this is what happened here also. When we applied the load, initially the load will be taken by the water and it will squeeze out, isn't it? Right. When the when water will squeeze out, there will be reduction of water, isn't it? See. So when when there will be squeeze out, no, what will happen? This water level, no, it will come up to here. Initially it was here, no. When there will be some squeezing out of water, it will become to this level. So there will be only spring. That means this entire load will be taken by the spring. Isn't it? Huh? Am I cleared? Am I cleared? Hello? Hello? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Huh. So initially, there is, this is the level of water. When there, will, when there, there will be squeezing of water. No, this water will come to this level. So there will be no water at this at this place. So this this load, this W load will, W load will be taken by this spring, isn't this initially? So what will happen? There will be reduction of. It will come like this. When the when the load will be taken by the spring, it will this will happen, isn't it? It will happen or not? Suppose you have a spring and you have a spring. Suppose you have a spring like this and you have applied a load here. You have applied what will happen? It will be like this, isn't it? So this is what happened. Now when it comes to this position, again this is fully saturated. So again. At this water, at this, at this, at this place, no. This water will again take the, again take the load. Again, there will be expulsion of water. This is that you can see. This is the poor water, poor water. This is squeezing out, right? So what will happen? This will be the water level next time. So again, this W load will be taken by this spring. Again, there will be now when the load will be taken by this spring, no, it will come to this this level. This will happen. So now, if we think that this is this spring is nothing but a soil sample, right? And this is the poor water, poor water. So this will happen. This this same thing will happen in in soil also. Initially, when we apply the load, initially the load will be taken by the poor water, fresh poor water, and there will be squeezing out of water, and this entire load will be taken by the soil sample. And similarly, this thing will happen, and then so there will be the reduction of Volume, isn't it? This is the final loading. Water dissipates. Soil has loaded. Okay. So this is actually this is called consolidation, and this is the this is how we analyze this uh, consolidation using the spring analogy, spring theory. So you you can read, huh? You can read this analogy. Huh? There are books in books also it is written. Or if you want, I can share some notes. Okay. To understand this, so you have to read by yourself also. Okay. Now, one dimensional consolidation theory. That means one D consolidation. This is very important. This is given by Tarzaghi. Huh? This is the another important theory in consolidation. One one dimensional consolidation. Actually, and this is the experimental setup of one D consolidation. How we actually how we. Uh, Explain one D consolidation, right? This is a soil sample. Uh, this is a soil sample. This is soil sample. These are some porous stone. These are porous stone. Actually, actually, like what happened uh, in lab? No, we have this consolidation setup. Huh? 
So if you do it by yourself, then only you will understand what is happening actually. If I explain here, then you won't be able to understand. Right. So this I will explain later on. So any question up to this? Next time I'll show some video, then only you will understand. Huh? So any question up to this? Student? Hello? Hello? Any question? You can write in the chat box. No, ma'am. Huh? So you have understand the consideration? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So can you tell me what is consolidation? Did you understand this spring theory? I mean, it's what's an open. Did you understand this spring theory? Yes, ma'am. So next time, next class, if possible, I'll take a class on Zoom. Huh? I'll take a class on Zoom and because there are some you no know, whiteboard to share. So if possible, I'll explain those things in actually this thing should be explained in play blackboard actually huh? then only people will understand it's very difficult to explain here only in slide okay so next class i'll try to explain this entire thing in zoom zoom meeting okay so any question till now any question and you have to read huh? you have to understand this thing you know you have to read by yourself also and not only once, at least two, three times, two to three times you have to read this spring analogy. Then only you will understand. And the thing is that if you don't understand this initial, this basic thing, you, know, you won't be able to understand anything. And in exam also, no, many students get back in this subject. It's not that easy actually. Soil mechanics is not that easy. So I'm telling you, huh, you have to read by yourself. I'll share some note and you can find some notes in uh, Google also. There are so many notes on consolidation. Suggest some book. Suggest some book. Gopal Ranjan. Gopal Ranjan. Then Punmiya. By Punmiya. Okay. This is a very good book. Soil Mechanics by Gopal Ranjan. Okay, Soil Mechanics by Gopal Ranjan, then Soil Mechanics by uh, Punmiya. This book you can refer. Okay? Yeah. So, have you given your attendance in the chat box? All of you? All of you have, have you given your attendance in the chat box? I told you to do, I write your roll number in the chat box. No. Okay. No ma'am, not yet. Okay, please write down. Some of you have written, huh? Those who have written, no need to write again. Those who haven't written your roll number, you can write. Done? All of you have given your attendance? It is going to be help for us if we refer from those PDF to the ERP. Yeah, you can refer.
yeah who is the pdf itself shared in erp no those things you can refer okay okay and if possible to I'll share some videos also uh, for consideration anybody left anybody left I hope all of you have given your attendance. Anybody left? So can I end the meeting? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. Yes, ma'am.